Yep. 5.1 number 129. So they have all of these and we say, okay, for exercise is 29 and 30. H sub n is the nth harmonic number. And that, anybody can tell me what a harmonic number is? H sub k is equal to 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus everything up to 1 over k. So the harmonic numbers are simply the sum of 1, 1 over 1, 2 over 1, sorry, 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3 up to 1 over k, and we just simply add these up. It's called the harmonic series, and the reason why they're even called the harmonics is classically if you would have lengths of bars or strings that would be, for example, you know, when you have a guitar and you pluck the string, it'll form a standing wave. If you cut it in half and then pluck that string, you'll notice that they're what we call like octaves, right? Like twice as long or a third and a fourth and a fifth. Those form things that sound good together and we call those harmonics. So they're called the harmonics because integer ratios of objects sound good together. Now, when we have these, this harmonic number, one of the things that they want to ask for 29 is that h to the 2 to the nth power is always less than or equal to 1 plus n, where n is a non-negative integer. So what we're really saying is that 1 plus 1 half plus one third plus one fourth plus, and we keep on going to go one over two to the n, must be less than or equal to one plus n. So when we're taking these harmonic numbers, the ones we're looking at is we're going to break the harmonic numbers, which would essentially the sum could go to infinity, right? But we're only going to stop at powers of two. So we would do things like 1, and then 1 plus a half. Then 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth. And then 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So what this is telling us is to break it at powers of 2. So what we're going to study, say at n equal to 0, the h of 2 to the 0, which is simply h1, is simply 1. But for n equal to 1, that's h2 which is 1 plus a half. But for n equal to 2, that's h4, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth. And then for n equal to 3, we have h8, which is 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth plus 1 sixth plus 1 seventh plus 1 eighth. As I'm going down, how long is my sum? I don't even know what I said. Did I say a fourth and a third and a fourth again? I said half. That's weird. Not really. What do you notice about the lengths of these sums? They keep doubling, right? They keep doubling up on us. Um, one of the things that we're going to ask is, if I would have this pattern and they say continue on, and I want to show that h to the 2n needs to be less than or equal to 1 plus n. OK, so that's the event that's going on. I get to see my basis starting off at 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I want to prove this. We're going to use induction, so proof, and so basis. P of first case. All right, let's look back at this. What is the first case that I show you? 
n equals zero, right? So what I'm talking about, p of n equal to zero, what does that denote? That denotes that h1 needs to be less than or equal to 1 plus 0. What is h1? 1. And so that's just simply 1 less than or equal to 1. Is that true? Yes, that's true. So this formula that you have is true at least for n equal to 0. So it's been knocked over. Inductive, which section is this in? It's in 5.1, so what technique are they probably going to ask you to use? Strong or weak? Weak. So let's just go ahead and assume P of k. What do you want to let the k be? Let's let it n equal to k. Seems reasonable. I'm going to call that n equal to k. But what does that look like? That says h of 2 to the k needs to be less than or equal to 1 plus k, right? I assume this to be true. Let's take a time out. What is h of 2 to the k? 1 plus half plus a third plus a fourth plus a fifth plus a sixth plus everything up to 1 over 2 to the k, right? So remember what this thing represents. It's 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus everything up to 1 over 2 to the k. Is everybody okay? Is that okay? All right. What do I want to show? P of the k plus first. Well, I'm just going to say that's n equal to k plus 1. What does that denote? That means h of 2 to the k plus 1 needs to be less than or equal to 1 plus k plus 1. Are we okay with that? But what does that denote? 1 plus half plus third plus everything up to 2 to the k plus 1, right? That's what that represents. You want to show this is less than or equal to this. You have two approaches. Start with this inequality, which you know is true. Do things to it until the below inequality happens. Or start with the left side on this one. Make things that are bigger than it until the right side shows up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that one. I'm going to start with the left side here. I'm going to start with this h of 2 to the k plus 1. And so I'm going to take h... 2 to the k plus 1, which is equal to 1 plus a half plus a third plus dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to write a big plus. Leave yourself a big blank here. Plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1. Okay. 1 over 2 to the k plus 1 is obviously a lot further down than what? There's somebody in here that's useful. 1 over 2 to the k, right? Because think about, like, let's look back up here. If I stopped at a half and I want to go to the next, what do I notice? Well, half is before a fourth. What do I notice about the next one? Well, a fourth is before an eighth. You know, halfway across ends up being, so I have this. Well, I notice that halfway I got 1 and a half and a third all the way up to 2 to the k, Wait a second, I can use the inductive hypothesis to get rid of all those. Those are all smaller than what? 1 plus k. So let's just get rid of them. I'm going to throw them away. I'm just going to say, oh wait, this is less than or equal to 1 plus k. All of that satisfies an inequality plus, all right, now I have this ellipsis. Who is beside, so all of this became this, who is immediately beside 1 over 2 to the k? Plus 1 plus, one plus dot dot. So I have this 1 over 2 to the k, and I have a 1, and then I keep on going until I get 1 over 2 to the k, plus 1 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 plus 1
plus one up in the pack. All right. I'm going to count for a bit. How many terms are on the left box? There's two to the K of them. How many terms are in the right box? There's two to the K of them as well, right? Because I broke it in half. I can replace this with bigger stuff, right? I want to go bigger, right? Can you think of something that, how do you make bigger things? There's two ways to do it, if it's a fraction. Make the denominator, make the denominator smaller or the, numerator or the numerator bigger. Can you think of a number that is bigger than all of those, and I'm just going to replace the denominator with all of them? Right? And if I don't like the plus one, just pick two to the K. So I notice that this is less than or equal to one over two to the K. Well, it's going to be, and the rest of them are even smaller. What Essentially, what am I doing? Could you see that, that fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, right? Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. If I got rid of all of them and replaced them with a fourth and a fourth, and a fourth, and a fourth, is a fourth bigger than each of those? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. We're just gonna replace all of those with a bigger thing. But I have two to the K terms here. I have two to the K terms here. And I'm gonna replace all of these. I'm gonna say, hey, wait, that is also less than or equal to one over two to the K. I'm gonna go ahead and replace them all. So that's less than or equal to 1 plus k plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1 over 2 to the k. But how many of these are there? There's 2 to the k of them. So that is simply 1 plus k plus, I have 2 to the k of 1 over 2 to the k's. That's 1. So that's equal to k plus 1 plus k plus 1. Is that what I wanted to show? Done. One of the things about inequalities are, you know, I could sit there and I could have replaced it with anything bigger than that. Could I have replaced all of them with the number one? Yeah, but it'd be too big. I wouldn't get the inequality that, that I could replace it with anything I want. I would be definitely smaller than, for example, infinity. Let's replace it with something really big. Right? So a lot of these inequality problems are you replace it with something big, but which one do you want? There has to be pieces of it that you're trying to figure out how they assemble. Most of these star problems require this subtle, I wonder what thing in particular they want. Because if I would have done 2 to the k plus 1, I would have had 2 to the k of 1 over 2 to the k plus 1s, which wouldn't be 1 it'd be a little less than one. And they were wanting specifically one, even though that it would be right as well. Is everybody okay with it? 